Hey everybody and welcome to another Cricut Craft tutorial. Before we get started, be sure you hit that big red subscribe button that's on the side <laughs> down below. I'd love to have you as part of my crafty family here on YouTube. And don't forget, I have a totally free newsletter that you can sign up for at CorinneBlackstone.com. I'm really excited about today's tutorial because it was really fun and this is a super easy thing to do and it makes an awesome gift. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to make a spiral artwork. And it just takes one sheet of vinyl, super easy to do, just a few minutes of your time. The longest part in this whole process was actually cutting it. So you can do these with lots of different pictures and images and they're really, really fun. You're going to need to go to the website listed down in the description box below. It's called Spiral Betty. And I do please ask you that if you do use the website, give them a little bit of a donation. When you go to download it, it will ask you for a donation. Send them a couple bucks and you can use it a ton. But that will keep the website free. And the people that run it are fantastic for allowing us to do this for free. And if you're going to sell these, I do please, please, please do it the right way and go to the link in their uh, website for commercial use license of their product. They, again, make this website free, so it's best to make sure you follow all the right practices if you plan to sell these. Now, I know you guys probably see my silhouette here. We're not ready to do tutorials on these quite yet, but we will be doing them very, very soon. I'm really excited, but I want to be confident with the software before I teach you. Now, I'm not going to just teach you just how to do everything on silhouette. Everything that I do with the silhouette, we will also kind of translate it that you can actually do it with the Cricut as well because you can take the software and use it with the Cricut. It's a whole thing, but I'll explain it in future um, videos. I just wanted you to know that that's why this is here. I really don't have anywhere else to set it other than on my desk, and I've been playing with it, so I didn't put it away. But this is what we're going to make today. This is actually a picture from my wedding, and it was really, really fun to do this. It was really easy to weed, so let's get started. So to make your own spiral artwork, you're going to go to spiralbetty.com. This is a free website, but again, please donate if you can to help keep it free. This is a super fun thing to do, but we do want to support the website. So what I'm going to do is click upload image, and I've already saved an image that I want to use, and I saved it into my Cricut folder. I'm just going to use a photo of me and my husband from our wedding. Now you can adjust your photo by dragging it, and you can zoom in on it, you can zoom out, whatever you want to do, and then you get it set where you want it to be. So whatever makes you happy, however you want it to look. And just click the little check mark over here on the right hand side. Once you do that, it's going to bring up your spiral. Now there's a bunch of spiral options over here that you can choose from, but you want to use this black and white one for what we're doing. Now you can make more spirals if you want to and make your image much more obvious, but the more spirals you add, the thinner your spirals will be, so keep that in mind. Or you can do less and it will be much less noticeable what it is. So we'll just kind of go somewhere in the middle. That looks pretty good right there. I kind of still want it to be very spirally, but I would like a little bit of definition. So now all you have to do is click on this button right here. This is your download button. Now right here is where you can give them some donation by buying them a coffee or you can also check with their commercial use license. If you are going to sell these images, please make sure that you do look at their commercial use license options. Do this in a legal way. Don't just cheat the system. So I'm just using it for personal use and I did donate to them so that I could make this video and that way they were still going to get some um, money. So what I'm going to do is click download and it's going to ask me where I would like to download it. And I'm just going to call this wedding spiral and we'll click save. Now we'll go over to Cricut design space over here in design space. You're going to start with a new project, click upload, upload image, and then browse. And you're going to find where you saved that image that you wanted to use for your spiral image. Once you've done that, I'm going to choose complex for my image because this is because this is a JPG. So we need to make sure that we do clean it up. Now you should only have to click one time and it will remove all of it because it's all connected in a big spiral. So once it's removed all of your background, you just click anywhere where it's white. 
Go ahead and click continue. You want to save this as a cut image. Now your cut image is going to look like their spirals are really, really tight. It's just because it shows you the cut lines, so it makes your lines look a lot thicker, but don't worry, they're not. Click upload, and then you're gonna click on the image and click insert image. Now it's gonna open pretty big, so just be aware of that. Now I'm putting this on a nine by nine shadow box and the glass itself exposed is about eight and a half, so I'm gonna go 8.25. So all I want to do is up here at the top where it says size is I'm going to change the width to 8.25 and I just want to make sure that the height also fits within those parameters and it does. It's going to be a little bit wider than it is tall because it's not a perfect circle, but it's totally fine. Now all you have to do is click make it. You can cut this on any color that you want, any type of vinyl that you want, but I do recommend using a vinyl and then making sure that whatever you put the background as is a good contrasting image or you're really not going to be able to see the image very well. We're going to cut this on StarCraft HD which I cut on the vinyl setting. I'll take you over to the machine so I can show you how to load the vinyl. We'll watch it cut. I'll show you how fun this is to weed and then we can apply it. We are ready to load our mat, get our machine all set. So I'm going to go ahead and load my mat. So what I do is I will lay most of my vinyl on top of my machine and lay my mat down and then put my vinyl vinyl side up. This is a permanent adhesive vinyl. I didn't have any mat in stock, so I'm just going to go ahead and use glossy. It'll be fine. It'll still look really, really nice. And then all you're going to do is insert your mat, give it a little bit of pressure from the back and click the load button. Once you've done that, you'll wait for your little Cricut button to light up. We will hit that and then it'll start to cut. So before I forget to tell you, the cut took about 12 minutes start to finish, so not a really long time. I'm going to go ahead and unload, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide my machine out of the way, and we're going to go ahead and pull this off the mat. So this, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got like, oh yeah, you can see it's, you can see where the lines are. So it kind of looks like um, an old school record, and please don't make me feel old by you guys not knowing what a record is. But we're going to go ahead and peel that off the mat. Again, I flipped my mat over and put it on the other side. So I'm going to trim off the excess vinyl because we don't need to keep that on here. And I like to trim in a circle around mine. Some people do squares and stuff, but like, I just like to go as close to the vinyl as I can. That way I've got some excess so I can leave that vinyl to the side. Now, when weeding this, it's not the hardest thing. But what you want to do, and that's partially why I leave this corner, is find where it starts. So this is where your last line is. So what I'm going to do is find the corner that's near that last line and peel this corner up. And what I want to do now is peel it to that first line, and I'm going to go ahead and pop this part off. This is just the outer ring, and we're just going to go all the way around. Now, all we're going to do is just keep rolling. You're just going to go in a circle. Weeding these is super fun, super easy, and you can just take your hand and like see how I'm spinning my hand. I'm just spinning the vinyl around my hand. And look how quickly this goes. It goes so fast. If you get sick of holding all that vinyl, you can cut it and start over. But I just kind of go in a circle and keep going. I'll let you guys watch me finish weeding this. Tell me that was not the funnest thing 
ever. I love weeding these. They're so fun. And I know there's a little bit of glare, but look at that. You can see the image. So cool. So what I'm going to do now is get my um, shadow box all taken apart because I just got... I just got this one from Michaels. Again, this is just a nine by nine, super easy. I'm just gonna use my pin pen. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the plastic. And then I'm just going to get some transfer tape. So I'm just using medium tack transfer tape from 143 Vinyl. I'll link it below for you guys, it's my favorite. And I'm gonna go ahead and lay this down face down on my transfer tape. And I'm just gonna cut a straight line across because there's really not a whole lot on the top of this. And I'll trim it off here in just a second. And what I do with like the leftovers, like the little pieces, I either roll them right back onto the roll or I just stick them to the side of my desk and I use them when I have smaller decals and things. So it's a great thing that you can do. You can just stick them to the side of your desk. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this back over. And now I'm gonna use a squeegee and I'm gonna burnish this down. And you wanna make sure you burnish this down really, really well, getting all of the spots. You wanna make sure you get all across it. It makes a really cool noise when you go across it because it's all this really cool pattern. These are so fun, so easy, really, really cool. And you can do these with tons of different pictures and images and they make really fun gifts. So what I'm gonna do now is flip this over and I'm gonna go ahead and start gently removing this. Now, this part is a little bit tough, so I'm gonna go ahead and burnish this from the back just to be safe now that I think about it, because these lines are really thin, and as easy as the weeding goes, sometimes the transferring can be a little bit more nerve wracking. So I'm gonna go ahead and burnish from the back just so I can make sure that that is sticking. And then, you'll see how I'm peeling. I'm pushing my transfer tape really, really flat against itself at a sharp, sharp, sharp angle because I don't want to lift any of the little circles because they are pretty thin. So you just want to go at a sharp angle and the further down you go, the more paper you're going to have. So you're just going to keep folding it back and folding it back as you go. And again, if you're using a good quality vinyl, this really isn't going to be a difficult task, but you do just want to be pretty careful with it and make sure that you are um, getting all the pieces to stay stuck down. So I've popped the back off of our uh, shadow box and then we have the little inside frame and then we have the glass and the regular frame. I'm going to pop the glass out. Now be careful, the glass is sharp on the edges and I'm going to set our frame off to the side. I'm going to use my Cricut mat to help me center because it's already got a grid on it and it's sticky so it'll hold it down. So all I'm going to do is center this best I can onto my mat. That looks pretty centered. And now we can use the parchment paper method to lay this down. So what I'm gonna do, place my parchment paper over it. It's a little curly. Um, I tend to try to cut the parchment paper before I start this adventure, but it's not always doable. So if you don't cut your parchment paper, just keep in mind it's gonna be a little bit um, curled. So what I'm going to do is just try to get this centered and you can see the glass through the parchment paper. I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I can see the glass through the parchment paper and I can also feel the glass. So by being able to feel the glass, it's helping me see where center is because I can feel the edges based on where, you know, everything is. That looks pretty centered to me. I would say that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I have this piece of the transfer tape right here on this corner of the glass. And all I'm gonna do is take my parchment paper, and I did press this down a little bit, so I'm gonna need to lift it just a hair to kind of release it, just a little. And what I'm gonna do is take my parchment paper and just gently move it out. And I'm just gonna kind of press this lightly. I'm not really pressing very hard. I'm just pressing lightly, that way I make sure that it continues to lay flat as I lay it across, because this is a pretty big decal. And it does have a lot of little pieces and lines, so I'm just gently pressing it with my hand until I get the parchment paper all the way out. And again, working with glass, you do want to be gentle. You don't want to go too crazy. But all I'm going to do now is take my squeegee, and I'm just going to go over the entire design. This is such a cool look, really, really fun. And again, these make great gifts. But again, just make sure that if you do use this, you're using this for personal use only. And if you want to sell them, make sure you get the commercial use license through Spiral Betty. 
And if you use it, feel free to shoot them a couple dollars to help them continue to provide this fun site for us. So now what I'm gonna do is take my transfer tape and just like how we removed the backing from the image, we're gonna remove the transfer tape in the same fashion just by using a very sharp angle and just gently going across our image. Again, you wanna make sure everything stays stuck down. If you see any lifting, I've got a little bit of lifting right here. I didn't really press that part very well. So I'm just gonna go around one more time real quick and just make sure that I do the whole image. I just wanna make sure everything is down. Okay, so again, I'm just gonna start transfer tape and then just this the sharp angle. That's much better. This was lifting just a little bit on this side and I just think I didn't press it very well with the um, squeegee. And as I go, I just sort of make sure nothing else is lifting. I use my finger just to kind of make sure nothing lifts, press lightly. I've got a little lifting over here, but I think once I get past that little section, we'll be fine. Perfect, yes. And then I, like I said, I just kind of go along with my transfer tape and it's at a sharp angle. And we just gently peel it away. Now when you get to the center of the spiral, just be very mindful of the center because they are pretty small. And once you get past that, you just make sure nothing's lifting. Like I said, you can use your finger just to kind of help. If you see anything coming up, you can run your squeegee back over it. So don't worry about that, but just go slowly. There's no rush. You wanna make sure that what you just spent your time cutting and weeding doesn't get damaged by your excitement to see it all finished. This is seriously one of my favorite things to do. I think this is so fun, so cute. All right. We are right here at the end of our spiral. So for that, I'm just gonna make sure that I come down that little spiral and our transfer tape is off. And we're gonna go ahead and pop this off the mat. Now again, be careful, the edges of glass are sharp. Pop that off the mat. Now you'll probably wanna clean your glass before you put it back in, um, but I'll put it really quick back in for you guys so you can see. Now what I like about these, so you could put them this way with the vinyl out, but as long as it doesn't matter right to left, you can also put them with the vinyl on the inside for cleaning reasons. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip mine and we'll let my husband be on the left side for this one and I'm gonna pop it. That way my vinyl's on the inside and I think that's gonna give you a little bit easier cleaning when you go to have to clean these because you will clean them. They get dusty. You might need to clean the glass and if you do, it's just a little easier if that vinyl, especially those small lines, are not on the outside. Um, usually I do vinyl on the outside but with this one, I'm gonna go ahead and do the vinyl on the inside. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my shadow box back together, got all my pieces parts, and I'm just gonna pop this in, all these closed for you, and let's flip it over and see how it looks. It's so fun! Look how cute that is! I love it in the shadow box, I think it's really fun, and you could definitely add something behind it as far as like a color cardstock or something like that, but I actually think I really like it with just this plain backing. You can see how cool this looks, it's really fun, you can see it from the different angles, it just looks like a black and white photo, but when you get up nice and close you can see all the little lines. Such a cute and fun thing that you guys can do. And I just think this is a good time. If you guys have questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I have links for everything that I used in this video for you guys, including the website for Spiral Betty. And again, please give them a couple of dollars. Help them continue to provide the site for us for free. And if you wanna sell these commercially, they do have a commercial use option. Just be sure to check in with them because they will let you know how to do that. This is such a fun thing. I hope you guys had a blast with this tutorial. I know I did, and I want to make like a million of these because they're so fun. Have a great day and happy crafting.